All of you are welcome here in physics classes and today we are going to deal with the topic motion for class 9 and I hope you will understand it logically. So now today's topic is motion. Motion. But dear students, before we are going to discuss with the topic motion, first we have to need to describe a very important terms called physical quantities. Those quantities which are measured or that have a unit are called physical quantities. Some of the examples examples of these quantities are mass, area, volume, pressure, distance, displacement, etc. Here, as you know earlier, mass is measured in kg, area is measured in a square meter, volume is measured in cubic meter, pressure is measured in newton per square meter or pascal, distance is measured in meter, displacement is also measured in meter. So all those quantities which can be measured or which have a measurement are known as physical quantities. Now let us take an example and the example is is given in the statement first a boy is said to be run said to be run 10 meters here in this example there is no specified directions given for the student. They are eligible to run in any direction. They can run in north direction or in south direction. They can run in east direction or they can run in west direction. In any direction, boy can run. But let us take it. Another example, a boy is said to be run 10 meter in north direction. Suppose the boy is at point A and he is set to run 10 meter in north direction only. So there is only one option for the student that he can run 10 meter in north direction only. These two statements have a magnitude and magnitude is, is 10 meter. 10 meter. But in first a statement, there is no particular or a specific direction given for the boys. But in the second a statement, 
a specified direction and the direction is north direction given for the y. So, on the basis of these facts, physical quantities are classified into two categories and these two categories are called a scalar and that. So now first we will check the definition of a scalar and vector before going to discuss first a scalar. A quantity that has only magnitude and no direction. is called a scalar quantity. Now let us take some examples of a scalar mass distance a speed pressure, work, etc. And the other kind of physical quantities are vectors. So we will take the definition of vectors first. A quantity that has both magnitude and a particular direction is called vector. For examples, displacement displacement velocity acceleration force etc. are vectors. So, in total, there are two different kinds of physical quantities and these quantities are categorized as a scalar and vector. A scalar are those which have only magnitude. There is no well defined a specified direction for the given quantities. And examples of a scalar are mass, distance, speed, pressure, work, etc. But in vectors, quantities has two things and that is magnitude with well defined a specified directions. And examples of these are displacement, velocity, acceleration, force, etc. Now we are going to deal, we are going to start with our main topic and that topic is motion. So now, so now the topic is motion. Everyone, everyone in their daily life change their position from one place to another. For our students, suppose you want to go a school from your home and you come back to your home. A person wants to go from Patna to Delhi, then Delhi to Mumbai. In all these cases, in all these examples, in all these experiments, we find that there is a change of position of a body or a person or animals from 
from one place to another. So, motion is defined. Motion is defined as the change of position with respect to time some of the examples of the state of motion Uh, a moving fan a car running on the road a freely falling body etc. In all these cases, we will find a car running on the road and a freely falling body because of the influence of gravity. Body changes their position with respect to some time. So, moving fan, it means fan, car and the body that falls on the ground. All these are in motion. So, a body is, is said to be in motion if it changes its position. with respect to time a body that doesn't change change its position With respect to time, it's said to be at least some of the examples in which the body is is at least a, a book is placed on the table A person standing in the playground, etc. So these are rest and motion both are the a state of the body <coughs> this 
these two are related terms. Because nobody in this universe is in a solid rest. Now let us take another example to understand the term motion clearly and why we can say that both the rest and the motion are related terms. Suppose, suppose a person is sitting, suppose a person is sitting. In a moving train in a compartment compartment of a moving train. With respect to a person waiting for that train, and the platform. Here, the person sitting in the train is in motion with respect to to that person becomes the position of the tree including person including person changes Continuous change continuous. But but the same person, but the same person. Sitting in the compartment of the train compartment of the train is at rest with respect to respect to any other person in the tree 